and I only eat sweets once a week now. So yesterday was my sweets day. Nice. And I was eating, um, I ate, I got four scoops of gelato. So I was three and a half scoops in and the blood sugar, the way it hit, you know, I was getting woozy, but it's like what I've been waiting for. And I'm watching the fight happen. And then, you know, San Francisco, right outside, I see two homeless guys fighting like oh. legitimately fighting and it was kind of one of those things where i swear to god even though amazing fighters that that you know paul and fury the fight outside was so much more entertaining i mean i've never seen this i saw a homeless man yesterday in front of as the kid out in the green room as my witness roundhouse kick another land a roundhouse kick to the chin another the other homeless guy's face the guy hit up against some outdoor dining was like shell shocked like you know like woozy bleeding from his lip and then just scurried off and i was wow. like wow and then i bought the homeless guy who won the fight ice cream <laughs> I, I swear to god but did you know whether who who instigated the fight maybe the homeless guy with the roundhouse kick is like a crack stealer i was gonna say i think most likely fentanyl instigated the fight <laughs> <laughs> i would feel like fentanyl would calm it down yeah that's true too it was i don't know if one's last time you've been to san fran but i mean it it got uh you know it's pretty wild it there. was wild there in north beach you know little italy and i was like man this is next level but i thought my mother always instilled in me like always buy homeless people food if you see them buy them food and uh and so that's just what i automatically do and i bought him ice cream and you know what this guy says to me granted he had just won a fight but i came out with chocolate ice cream he goes i don't like chocolate I was like, Jesus Christ. Well, that's probably why he's homeless. Seriously, right? Because yeah. of the ego and like... Disagreeableness. Yes, so I went and got a vanilla and he ate the vanilla. Oh, you did that. That's yeah. good for you, bro. Because, you know, it's good my sweet day. I just had the chocolate. Good for you. Good Thank for you. Thank you. That's a lovely thing to do. Yeah. I wish it was just, you know, that the people are down on their luck. I wish it was just that. Yeah. But it, there's like such a combination of factors that humans have to address. If they really want to address homelessness, you really have to address... Kids that grow up in the foster care system, you have to address uh, childhood abuse, you yeah. have to address family history of drug addiction, yep. you have to address crime. Like, uh, There's so many factors you know, that lead into someone being homeless. And well, the idea that you're just going to give them housing or you're just going to give them tents and everything's going to be fine. It's like, no, like you can't just like ignore that as an issue. Like if you're going to, the amount of money that it costs to have massive populations of homeless people is extraordinary. If they just put the same amount or maybe more to prepare for the future into some sort of like comprehensive program to try to help people that are fucked up like that and clean them up, and it would probably have to involve psychedelic drugs. Yeah, that's what I was. I think that you probably because because it's not a money thing, right? People they have money to. It's not a cure. It's not a financial cure. It's these people the people that are just so damaged by life. Yes, in in whether it's chemically damaged, psychologically damaged. Maybe they don't have the right psych medications. Maybe they're off their meds. You know, a, a lot of them have gone through horrific abuse. Like, you yeah. don't wind up in a tent in Skid Row unless no. shit has gone. It's literally the bottom of the country. Skid Row is like the bottom of the country. Right. But then I wonder if you get to so talk to some people and they're like, "We, this is where we want to be. You think some people are willingly that? Because they don't, they don't know anything else. Right. Right. They don't know love. They don't know, like, uh, the accomplishment of, like, doing a thing and getting better at it and, like, improving upon mm -hmm. and realizing that's kind of a vehicle for improving yourself. Like they, they haven't experienced like positive things like you, you, the life life is like this is why it drives me fucking crazy when any, everybody says like whenever anyone says like pull them up by their own bootstraps like to tell people to go you know figure it out yourself you know yeah. I did or like these people the, you're not dealing with the even starting line if everybody had an even starting line that would make sense if everybody right. had a mom and a dad and they grew up in a house where no one smoked crack and right. fucking shot at each other yeah. if you grew up in a place like that yeah. okay if we all grew up like and we all like had a good school to go to with good education and nice teachers that cared but that's not everybody's yeah. experience and no. until we fucking fix that yeah. you're never gonna fix this homeless problem like was lucky to grow up how I grew up in New York City great parents whatever but then I just had a show in Fresno a couple of days ago and I said if I grew up here I'd be a little different You'd be because a lot different. Fresno is one of those places where I went at a great time but I mean those just just being there just mm -hmm. being in that city for 24 hours I was like I don't know if this was my every single day 
You might turn to drugs. You, and, and it's depressing. It's de- it's depressing. I drove from Fresno to San Jose, and we were passing through Stockton, and I thought I was in Switzerland because that's <laughs> what an upgrade it was from Fresno. I was like, what are we, in the fucking Alps? Bro, I was driving through a street in Fresno, and people were walking out on, in the middle of the street like, what the fuck are you doing driving here? Yeah. Like, I went down a wrong area where it's, like, mostly homeless people. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That The, 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 the Fresno Skid Row that I saw was, the one I think, the worst I've ever seen. I, I'm sorry, no, in... Uh, in uh, uh, was it? Yeah, it was uh, San Jose? I should say San Jose was was really, really, really fucking bad. Yeah. Um, o- over there, I was like, Jesus Christ! You know, you um, and Vancouver. I just went to Vancouver. That was the one where I was like, I did not know that Vancouver had such a. See, I think what Vancouver and these cities are doing is they're just putting their homeless in one section because you know I live in New York. I'm in New York every day. There are homeless, and they're spread out through the city, but you never see blocks of tents like you see in San Francisco and Vancouver. So when I was there, I was like, this doesn't feel like the right move either, you Mm. know, to just put them in one corner because New York, they're spread out, but you you don't feel them as much. It's dangerous, but not really. Where San Francisco, Vancouver, they were like, you know, one of the local comics I was with in San Fran, he was like, you cannot leave anything in your car. Yeah. around this theater you cannot they will break in and i saw about four or five windows busted out which you never see that in new york and i think the police in vancouver and san fran from what the people were telling me they that's a district they don't care they don't even go into that district they just let it be a free-for-all which i understand from the government's like well this is our last resort but i i don't know that that's going to necessarily work but maybe you got to give them psychedelics well, what they're doing right now is not working. You can't no. just let people smash people's windows. It's no. so it's so crazy. And it's, you know, it's a direct result of uh, horrific police violence. Yes. Like, that's what it's from. It's from you watch like the George Floyd video. Right. You watch those five guys uh, beat that man to death recently. You see these videos. You see the Roddy King video. You've seen so many videos. So people like over time have decided that all police are bad and all police interactions are bad. And we need to defund the police. And this is what that leads to. It just leads to an increase in crime. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect system. Right. Right. But you need a system of law and order. If you don't have a system of law and order, you have too many people that would just give in with no consequences to crime. Right. And that's not their fault in a lot of cases. I mean, we can go through that and talk about determinism and what we've already talked about before, about everybody doesn't have an an even starting line. Right. But you got to address that it's a problem and you got to address for peaceful people. They have to be able to walk down the street and not worry about getting assaulted and robbed. Yeah. And if that happens all the time. You've got a fundamental breakdown of what your society so, so you just, in society strong are supposed to protect the vulnerable, right? And if you're not doing that, then you don't have a society. And then you also have this crazy gun laws and every it's, right. it's, it's a little difficult to you're not allowed to concealed carry. There's a lot of yeah. like so there's no consequence of people like coming after you.